This is great. Garage sales are always great. I'm looking for a sun visor. Do you have any sun peak visors? No, nope, I have nothing like that at all. All right, well, Sorry. while I look for a visor, let's go talk to Jay Myron. I was wondering if you could tell us how long you've been riding. 18 years. And uh, 10 years as a pro. What are some of your career highlights over that 18-year uh, career? Um, when I learned to do 180 on the half pipe, Brian Blyther. <laughs> I always wanted to be as smooth as Brian Blackler, and I never quite got there. Actually, I never even came close, but he definitely had the most impact of any rider on my riding style. I, he made me want to be smooth. When we were starting out, there were a few of us that were getting pretty good, and we'd read these magazines, and they just turned these riders into gods. Like, I couldn't believe guys would be that good. And when I was 17 and finally went to see my first pro competition and actually saw them ride, I realized they weren't. <laughs> they were totally exaggerated, but we thought that's how good you had to be, and we didn't realize we were a lot better. After I went to one competition, I realized, wow, I could be pro and I could make a living off this, so that's when I decided I want to do it. From the Bay of Thunder. <laughs> now, from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Um, obviously, it's a pretty small place and whatnot. Sponsors didn't want to fly me out of there, and it was tough to, you know, get medical attention when you need it. So I moved down to the States, you know, when I was coming up. Lived there for five years, got sick of it, wanted to live in Canada again. And this was just the best place for me, best weather, um, best place to start a business. And uh, a lot of riders already lived here, so moved out to Coquitlam. Now pretty much every pro in Canada lives in Coquitlam. There is a cement skate park outdoors, there's some, some dirt trails. Uh, have you put any input to help those people out with the development of those areas? No, I helped dig the trails, but I didn't have anything to do with the cement park. It's more all the skateboarder guys, but uh, trails, put some time in digging, we all did. They're coming along, they're not great, but they're getting there. I'm more well known for vert and street and stuff, but I've always ridden trails. Just no one's ever seen it, so they all think I can't do it, but I can do it. I can hang. I'm no Christopher, but I can try. <laughs> Crusher pads, they're one of my sponsors. Uh, I wear the shin pads and now the new Crusher helmets. You'll, uh, I'm sure you'll see me wearing one later. They're super good and, I mean, just, uh, he's totally, he's one of those guys that's doing it, you know what I mean? Canadian company supporting Canadian riders, that's what we need. Action footwear, they've been doing it for me uh, this year and they're really cool. Oakley. I've been with them for three years, and uh, Schwinn. I'm coming up on five years that I've been riding Schwinn. And pretty psyched on all my sponsors right now. Things are going really well. It was like the dream come true. Lived in the States because I had to, because of the weather. Didn't want to, you know, didn't want to take the winters off. And had the opportunity to move back to Canada with my teammate Dave Asado and a couple of other guys from Canada. And, Start a business, open up a warehouse. Just it's just private, but we, we have our own private ramps in a warehouse. And it's like every kid dreams of it, and we've been living it the last three years. Well, it's we don't have insurance or the business license or anything for it, and we, we can't even get it at this point. We're not zoned for it in this building, so uh, no, can't come. You little punks. <laughs> not just kidding. We have a good skate park in town now. We'll go ride there later. Hey, dude, let's walk the sucker. <laughs> X Games is a big TV show. It's, it doesn't really have much to do with our sports. It's just something we have to do to make, make our sport popular on TV. It's usually a big media circus, and it's so hard to concentrate on your riding that it just, it's not even fun. I uh, got a call from EA Sports. Actually, a guy talked to me at the X Games last year and said, oh, I'm from this big video game company. I want you to do a video game for me. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. And then all of a sudden he called me and said he wanted to send a contract. And I was like, oh, maybe this wasn't BS. So they sent a contract and we negotiated for a while. And now I'm uh, co-designing a, a game, a BMX video game for EA Sports and uh, another you know, character. In it. Hey, you know what else? I'm doing a, an action figure and they replicated my bike for a toy company. Watch me kick ass over this jump. I kick ass. <laughs> Does that look like me or is that an imposter? He looks like he has an attitude, it must be me. You really jam around Canadian beast, huh? I think so, I got his bike, so I might as well be him. <laughs> I think you just stole that bike from him. 
What up? On this week's trick tip, Jay's going to show us how to roll into the ramp. All right, roll-ins, that's the trick we're going to learn. Before you learn the roll-in, you need to learn how to foot plan in, because the roll-in's a little scarier. Foot plan's a little easier. You get to the edge of the ramp, you lift your bike out, you hop in. On the count of three, we're going to do it. You ready? One, you get the bike set. Two, you lift it up. Three, you jump into the ramp. Once you learn how to do that, you do that a bunch, you get confident, then you learn how to roll in. Roll in with both feet on the pedals. You get your both feet on the pedals. As soon as the bike gets near the coping, you roll the front end over, you pull the back end up and dive into the ramp. Here we go. One, I'm up, two, and three, we roll in. It'll probably take you a little longer than that to learn that trick, but believe me, with enough practice, you will learn it. Do it on a smaller ramp for your first time too, because the bigger the ramp, the scarier and more dangerous it is. That's it. Oh, and don't wear a helmet like John's. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs>